Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report. Today I'm going to cover the lumbar spine sprain strain. The lumbar spine is the medical name for the low back. A strain is an injury to a muscle and a sprain is an injury to a ligament. This is a very common injury that can occur in sports, it can occur in work, it can be from lifting, it can be a repetitive type of injury. So this is a very common injury. Low back pain is the number one reason that people see doctors of chiropractic like myself. There are many contributing factors to low back pain. I did a series of videos where I spoke about the most common contributing factors to low back pain. So go ahead and check out those videos. I also did a series on activities or sports that contribute to low back pain. So go ahead and take a look at those. Today what I'm going to speak about is an injury to the muscles and the ligaments in the lumbar spine. Low back pain is one of the most common musculoskeletal complaints. It is the leading cause of disability in the developed world and accounts for billions of dollars in healthcare costs annually. It is also the number one reason that patients see a doctor of chiropractic. Lumbar muscle strains are typically the result of abnormal tension placed upon a muscle and or tendon. It can follow a traumatic incident or be from repetitive overuse. The symptoms of a lumbar spine sprain strain can be described as intense pain in the lumbar spine and or the sacroiliac joints. It is often described as sharp, tight, spasm, stiffness, dull, deep ache, and or tenderness or all of the above. Pain in the lumbar spine from a sprain strain is often provoked by movement and lessened by rest. Weakness can be present. There is limited lumbar spine, hip, pelvis, and lower extremity symptom-free range of motion due to the pain and muscle guard. There's often an altered gait, difficulty moving in all planes, meaning that moving in any direction can cause pain or can intensify the symptoms. There's often slow and guarded movements because the muscles become so tight. There may be an altered posture where the patient may be leaning forward or you may be leaning to the left or to the right or rotated slightly. The symptoms can begin immediately through a traumatic event or they can have an insidious onset. This is what I mentioned before where it can be from a repetitive type of injury. The symptoms can also occur from prolonged inactivity. Say if someone is sitting for long hours every day, even if they are in a good ergonomic position, those muscles can still tighten up and become a strain. Most lumbar sprain strains respond well to conservative treatment such as chiropractic care and massage. Exercise has become a cornerstone of treating and preventing low back pain along with chiropractic care and massage. I like to say that motion is the best medicine. Depending on the type of symptoms that you have, you will always benefit from motion, even if that motion is very slight. You want to move through a symptom-free range of motions, even if it's just five or 10 degrees in one direction, you can move by bending to either side, by turning to either side, by bending forward or bending backwards. But you always wanna to move through a symptom-free range of motion. Never perform a motion, a stretch, or an exercise that elicits or intensifies symptoms. You always want to work through a symptom-free range of motion. You can perform stretches, for the lumbar spine, you can perform stretches for the hip flexor muscles or any other muscles that may be tight. You want to move into the stretch slowly, hold a mild comfortable stretch and move out of the stretch slowly. This is something that I have covered in many videos, but I just want to make sure that everyone knows proper stretching techniques. So I'm going to say it again. You want to move into a stretch slowly hold a mild, comfortable stretch and move out of the stretch slowly. You can stretch the hip flexor muscles, you can stretch the lumbar spine muscles or the gluteal muscles or any other muscles that may be tight. One group of exercises that you wanna look into are called the Williams Flexion 
exercises or the Williams flexion lumbar exercises. This is a group of exercises that are designed for injuries to the ligaments and to the muscles of the lumbar spine. They are stretches and they are strengthening exercises. So you look into those. I have a video on that. So I'm going to put a link to that at the end of this video. And I'll also put a link to it in the comments section. So watch that video and learn how to perform the exercises in the Williams flexion lumbar exercises. Many times the muscles in the lumbar spine can become extremely tight or in the medical terminology we call hypertonic from prolonged sitting. Even if you are in a good position, prolonged sitting can make those muscles extremely tight. When you are sitting for a long time, some very basic things that you can do. Take a break every 15 or 20 minutes. Stand up, stretch, reach towards the ceiling, move your pelvis from side to side, bend forward, bend backwards, anything through a symptom-free range of motion, just a little micro break, and then sit right back down and get back to work. And then once an hour, get up and walk around. You want to make sure that you break the static position. This will help to keep the muscles in the lumbar spine from becoming hypertonic. You also want to drink water. Drink water throughout the day and keep your muscles hydrated. A key factor in lumbar spine sprain strains is weakness in the deeper lumbar spine muscles, called the multifidi muscles, or weakness in the deeper core muscles, or both. Now, I did a video on both of these, so you could check those out and you will learn a great deal. But I want to go over it again a little bit here because it's such a fundamental thing that you can do to help to prevent low back pain and help to rehabilitate low back pain by strengthening the deeper lumbar muscles called the multifidi and strengthening the deep core muscle called the transverse abdominis. The larger multi-segmental muscles compensate by core activation when there is multifidi and transverse abdominis dysfunction. Motor control errors or lack of transverse abdominis and multifidi acting before the larger global muscles increases compressive forces across spinal segments and results in muscle tightness and pain. Motor control exercises involve retraining the multifidi and the transverse abdominis to become active before the larger global multi-segmental muscles become active. Now the larger multi-segmental muscles are what's called the lumbar paraspinal muscles. If the deeper muscles are weak, then the paraspinal muscles have to work extra hard. They have a greater demand placed on them because they also have to work to stabilize the spine. So we want to make sure that the deeper muscles are doing their job and stabilizing the spine and the pelvis so that the paraspinal muscles can do their job and not have a greater workload. If there is a greater workload placed on the paraspinal muscles, then those muscles will fatigue quicker than they should, and that sets them up for injury. You can strengthen the multifidi muscles by performing fitball lumbar spine extensions, and you can strengthen the transverse abdominis muscles by performing abdominal hollowing, which is also known as stomach vacuums, and performing the abdominal drawing in maneuver. I have videos on all of these exercises so you could learn proper technique. Now it is time for the disclaimer. Please remember, watching this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. If you have pain or symptoms in the lumbar spine, please see a medical professional. You can see a doctor of chiropractic like myself, or you can see another type of medical professional. But seeing a medical professional will get you an evaluation, a diagnosis, and set you on the path to recovery. You can also work with a certified fitness trainer or a rehab specialist to learn a proper exercise technique. So please remember, viewing this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. Also, you want to perform exercises through a symptom-free range of motion. Never perform an exercise that elicits or intensifies symptoms. If an exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, you want to stop 
immediately. Thank you for watching today's video on the lumbar spine sprain strain. This is an extremely common injury, as I stated earlier. You want to make sure that you do everything you can to prevent this injury. And if you get this injury, you want to make sure that you rehabilitate completely because this is an injury that can reoccur. So if you think you are suffering from core atrophy or atrophy of the deep lumbar muscles, then work with a professional or start doing the exercises that I mentioned earlier, the abdominal drawing in maneuver, abdominal hollowing, and the fitball lumbar spine extension. These will help to strengthen the deeper core muscles and the deep lumbar spine muscles. Anytime you are performing a strengthening exercise, you want to make sure that you never perform that same exercise two days in a row. Please give yourself at least one rest slash recovery day in between performing a strength exercise. Thank you everybody for watching today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report where I cover the lumbar spine sprain strain. This is such a common injury and there are so many factors involved. That is why I did so many videos on low back pain and the contributing factors and the activities and the sports that can contribute to low back pain. But on today's video, I just went over some of the fundamental things that you can do to help yourself to prevent a lumbar spine sprain strain. This is an extremely common injury that happens to a large amount of the population. So please do everything you can to prevent this injury and everything you can to rehabilitate a lumbar spine sprain strain. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. You can visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can get additional information on the book, and you can also find my blog. My blog contains articles on spine health, chiropractic care, sports medicine, health, fitness, and nutrition. Please feel free to like this video. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube page. Always remember to train hard, but train smart. Get adequate rest between training sessions. Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury free. Completely rehabilitate your injuries and accomplish your goals.